Hey, good afternoon, friends. Uh, it's Nibs again. Just out at the range again with uh, another uh, another one of my fine collection. Um, wanted to do a little quick video on it, do a little review on it. Um, got the dogs out here. Fred's over here hanging out. Want to see Fred? Say hi to Fred. Here's Fred. Seems like he's not feeling good today, but that'll happen when you get as old as he is, I guess. So. Stella's off wandering. Maybe she'll visit before we're done with the video. <clears throat> so anyway, um, anybody who's known me for more than five minutes knows that I'm uh, just love 22s. Um, I've had, uh, I've got, I'm not going to say how many. <laughs> got a lot of 22s. Um, and uh, one of my biggest uh, downfalls, I guess you could say, as far as 22s goes, is these pump action ones. Uh, with pump like a pump uh, 870, 12 gauge, whatever. Speaking of 870, if you take a close look at this one, um, you can uh, see a very, uh, very much similarity to the receiver and pump action of a Remington 870. Um, this one here is a uh, Remington model 572, and they made several different versions of it. Um, they made a, what they call a standard version, which has a steel receiver, steel barrel, and it was just a typical uh, blued uh, configuration. And then they came out with these, uh, these are what they call a featherweight version. Um, it actually has an aluminum receiver, um, aluminum barrel with a steel uh, sleeve basically like the same sleeve they I, I'm guessing it'd be the same sleeve like you use to uh, um, re uh, reline a barrel um, and then uh, lighter wood um, just kind of a, they call this one the buckskin tan version um, of the three that are um, a lightweight version this is the most common one um, there's two others. One's called a uh, uh, teal wing uh, blue, and then the other one is a uh, crow's wing black. Um, and uh, the instead of the brown wood or brown metal, you would end up with uh, blue or black, real black color. And uh, I think the stocks are pretty well the same color. made in uh, May of 1958. I don't know the exact dates that they made these, but from probably the mid-50s into the 60s, I believe, is what I found. Um, so it does have a uh, cruise for a scope on it, but I kind of wanted to not do that with this one because it is an aluminum receiver, and I was afraid that the uh, rings would bite in and, and cause marks in this receiver. So. I do have a standard version of this with a small scope on it, so I wanted to shoot one of these with a scope on it. I keep bringing that one out. Um, they are they are very light though. Um, just they, they balance nice in the hand. Um, and, uh, it's got some nice checkering. I'm sure it's probably machine cut, but it's got some some nice look to it. Um, Uh, it's not perfect. It's got a couple little blunts of wood. Metal's in nice condition, though. The, uh, the difference in weight, though, uh, between this and the, the standard is about a pound and a half, which is doesn't sound like much, but it's pretty significant. Um, just set up a few cans out here. Uh, Twenty yard, twenty-five yards. Because this is a plinker. Um, holds uh, fourteen rounds in a tube magazine. Um, with longs, it'll also shoot shorts and uh, or fourteen long rifles. It'll shoot. Um, Shorts and uh, 
longs as well, but I don't know how many it'll hold of those, so I don't know how many to the head. Uh, can we see this? Got the cans out there. I don't know if you can see them or not, but uh, oh, one's blown off. So anyway, there you go. That's a Remington model 572. Oh, they have a name for it here. What's it called? Uh, well, they call it the Fieldmaster. So like they got the 550 or 552. This is semi-automatic. They call that a Speedmaster. The uh, like the 513T. They call that a Target Master. Range Master or something like that. Uh, they got all their little names for everything. So, anyway, um, it's a cold one out here today again in the 20s right now. So, I'm not going to stay out too long, but I wanted to get out and do another video. I uh, hope to, over the next uh, little bit of time, go through all of the collection that I have and give you all a good look at it. When the weather warms up, I want to do a video on the uh, the Marlin Lever Maddox that I have. Um, I have a good little collection of those, and I'll bring them all out at once. I don't want to do just one at a time, but when it's so cold, it's difficult to uh, really get out here and unwrap uh, five or six guns at the same time and, and handle them and everything. So my fingers are already numb just from being out here this couple minutes here. So, but anyway, so if you uh, like this video you know give me a thumbs up on it uh give me uh subscribe to my channel um check out the uh on facebook if you're on facebook go to uh, walnut and steel uh vintage firearms channel we've got on there um, a lot of good folks on there uh, in the description below you'll see uh, a link for my patreon page too give that a look and consideration and uh, i hope you all have a great day um I'll see you next time with the next great gun. Thanks a lot. Bye.